Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and this is using Dimension Display in Autodesk Inventor, a tool which lets you change the way your dimensions are seen in your modeling screen. I'm going to begin with a sheet metal box, and I'm going to put a sketch in the back where I might put an emboss, for example. So I'll use my View Face tool, turn this face normal to me so I can see it easily, use Direct Input to create a sketch on that face, and draw a rectangle. Now I want this rectangle to be two inches narrower than the overall width. So I'll begin by using my constraints and a vertical constraint between the midpoint of my rectangle and a projected line and line that up. Next, I'll put my dimension on my sketch. I'll right click and I'm going to choose show dimensions. Then I'll pick the face I want to show the dimensions for left click on my dimension which brings its variable up into the screen and I can build my equation. Now the f of x shows that this is an equation inside of this uh, dimension but I can't easily tell where it's driven from. There's a couple of ways I can approach it. One is to go to the manage tab, choose parameters and I can find that relationship. But that's a little bit time consuming. Not difficult but time consuming. So there's another way we could do it that's much quicker. I can right click inside my sketching screen, choose dimension display, and change it to expression. Now I see an equation showing the relationship right on screen, and I can even see other dimensions where that relationship may be driven from. And just like that I have quick feedback and I can see exactly what my sketch is doing and make my design a better design. That's it. Just a quick video. Thanks for watching everyone.